The process of bringing kids for intervention um, was something that came up a lot as I interviewed teachers at the end of last year and just some things they would like to see changed. In the past they had met with special ed to talk about interventions and so we did a, a complete division this year and special ed has their own team where we talk about um, kids who are in special ed. PLCs were nicely in place when I, I got here and we've just kind of switched the focus a little bit this year in having that be our first step in our MTSS process. Um, as kids come to our PLCs and the PLCs work with them, um, then if they're not finding the success that they need or they need to go a little bit deeper, then they bring um, students to our MTSS teams. I think choosing the right person to be on the team and me being new not knowing, I really relied on people who were here and I think we just absolutely chose the right people to be on the team and some of them are our PLC leadership right now. Next year we're going to divide that out because I want, um, I want peop more people to have a part in what happens. I sat down with my PLS and we talked about what teachers would be really good on that team. We selected teachers um, for our team that had some skills um, on doing some interventions, um, either some reading background or math background that would be really helpful. So we took um, one teacher from each grade level um, to be on that team. We also have our social worker. Um, my PLS, who's our, my Title I specialist, also comes and she's our really great note taker um, and, and does that. And then we have our reading specialist um, come uh, to both teams. We have two MTSS teams. We divided them because um, the focus is really pretty different between the lower grades and the upper grades. So our lower grades are kindergarten through third grade and our upper grade is our fourth through sixth grade um, MTSS team. Having the right people who saw the vision and are excited to be able to share knowledge and, and be part of that. That was, I think, the main thing that made it successful was getting the right people. We did some training um, together. Usually after school we'd get together all of them, the lower and the upper, and started to talk about the process and, and looking at the forms that came from the district. And um, they did all the training. Um, when they trained the faculty on what it was. So we met, we, we condensed some of the forms and made it work for us. Um, but because they became the teachers, they own it and they're really excited about the process also. They love the process. They love being able to look at kids, um, the knowledge base that, they've, that has grown so much this year. Um, and the teachers that come, because they're coming with a member of the MTSS team that's on their grade level, so the two of them come together, they don't feel quite so much like, you know, they're being put on the spot. And we gave them a lot of tools so that they could come with lots and lots of information about kids. We're probably about 85% of our teachers really, really on board. So we still have some that we're working with to um, bring on board with what that process is. And I think you have to continually redefine what the purpose is because it's easy to fall back into the old, yeah, I want to get my two things done and signed off so that, you know, they can take them somewhere else and test them. Um, and that's, you know, we, we always want to redefine for them that that's not what, what we're about. <laughs>